Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. And today, I'm gonna show you around the brand new A-Liner. It's an Expedition model, but this one is actually the family Expedition model. Uh, it's the same size, only it sleeps quite a few people, up to four adults, very comfortably, has a pull-out outside kitchen. It's the same size as the original Expedition, 18 feet long. It's right around 2,000 pounds, depending on the options. When you have this folded down, and we'll show you at the end of the video how to do that, it's going to be right about five feet tall. Again, with hard dormers or soft dormers, it'll be a little taller than that, but still fits in any standard garage, toes easily, sleeps plenty of people. It is just a great trailer if you're looking for an outdoor adventure. So like always, subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more videos. We love to hear your comments, glad to help you. And in the meantime, let's take a look inside. Wow, the first thing you'll notice in here is the space. Of course, this is the Expedition with the optional hard dormers. You can also get soft dormers, which make it feel very spacious as well, and have a bigger window in the back. Now, some people prefer the hard dormers because, again, don't have to worry about bears. Uh, you get a little better insulation, of course, with the heat and the cold. You do have glass windows here that slide open so you can have ventilation coming front to back on the camper. All of those are great pluses. The soft dormer makes it feel a little more like camping. Uh, it also has a large window on the back, so the entire back wall of the dormer is open when you have the soft dormers. So a lot of people like that tent feel and, of course, a whole lot of airflow. So either way, Dormers are optional, and think about it this way. If you actually have dormers, you stop somewhere, you don't want to open them, this is very easy to camp in with the dormers open or closed. Dormers are an option, but they add a huge spacious feel to the interior. Now the sofa at the back is just like the standard Expedition. You remove the seated cushions here, slide it out, and this makes a very nice bed. So once this bed is pulled out, it is so comfortable for two people, it is larger than the standard queen you have in your house. It is 60 inches wide, 82 inches long. A standard queen is 60 by 80. They use the full width of this trailer, which is seven foot wide. Makes a very comfortable sleeping area at this end. The LED lighting is right up here on the top, right above the bed gives a nice lighted area for the table. Now the table leg slides right into this slot. Just give it a good twist. It's very solid, not wobbly like you see some of them. And then the table folds right on the top. And of course, it can swivel and turn as you need it, but provide a nice dinette seating area for up to probably four people right here around the table. Now on this door side over here, there's switches right next to the sink and you've got the water heater, the water pump, and the light, the auxiliary light right there for when you turn on the water heater, it's going to tell you that that is lit. So right across from the door is the next seating area. It's a long bench, very comfortable, can seat a lot of people. The best part is it actually pulls out into a bed as well. It is about 40 inches wide and 72 inches long. So an adult could sleep here super comfortably. Okay, so now you get a shot at the other end of the trailer. This is where they have the higher bunk bed, they call it, but of course there's no bed underneath because underneath here is the pull-out kitchen for the outdoor cooking. I love it, I'll show you that in just a minute. Now this top bunk, it's 32 inches wide and then the full 82 inches uh, long. 
so a full-size adult could sleep here very comfortably. Again, since I stuttered a little, it's 32 by 82 up here. This, just like all the other seating areas and sleeping areas, are going to have the 4-inch high-density cushions. So it's very comfortable. The leatherette coverings on it, very soft. You'll be impressed. I love the dormer on this side. Again, makes it feel very open. You've got the window that slides open for the breeze coming both sides. And there is a 110 plug right here on the front of it. There's three 110 plugs actually in this unit. I'll show you one here and we'll look at the other two as we move around. Next to that is the Dometic controls for the AC and the furnace. Now these expeditions have two air conditioner options. One of them is a 6,000 BTU window unit. The other one, which is probably the most common one, is a CoolCat heat pump. It's 11,000 BTU. It's underneath the sofa seating on the other side. And there's vents coming this way. And that's, that's where the cooling comes from. It is a heat pump, so you can get electric heat. Now, it's not the same heat as you would get from the 16,000 BTU furnace we saw. That's going to be a lot stronger heat. But you do have that heat pump for just those chilly mornings where you want to take the edge off. All right. Controls are right here, just like the thermostat at your house. And as you come around, there is a toilet compartment in this unit. Now the sink area, again, has great countertop space because they use the glass top sink. So when it's not in use, you have a full countertop space to use here. The glass top flips up. The faucet actually swivels up and down and you've got a nice round sink, almost round, not quite, but a really nice space for dishes or whatever you need to use the sink for. Let's look at the storage underneath. Storage, again, always a key factor when you're looking at how to use these trailers. You have two cabinets, one at the top, one down below. And on the side, there is the switch for the water pump and the water heater. Very easy to use, very accessible. Another 110 plug right down here in the front of this seating. And let me show you the storage that's right here underneath the sofa. This actually accesses more storage underneath, so it's really helpful to have that access. And before we step outside, I just want to mention this is an eight foot height to the peak of the A-frame. So if you're a lot taller than I am, you're going to be really comfortable in here. And there's a two-way fantastic fan up there. Very easy to use and super helpful. You know, there are times where you might want to run your AC, but others when you just need a little breeze in here. So it can actually pull air out or blow air in. Great feature to have in all of these A-liners. Now, let's step outside. We'll talk a little bit about construction and look at some great features that are new to the A-liner on the outside. So outside the A-liner, your first question might be, how does it go up and down? I want to see how it works. Well, we'll do that at the end, so hang in there. Uh, these panels right here are actually a vacuum bonded fiberglass panel with uh, anodized aluminum extrusions. I love the clear handle here. I think it's very classy. And did you notice just inside the door, there is a little light at the entryway with a switch. So you can turn it on find your way in if it's a pitch black campsite. Those are the ones I love the most, but I need that little extra light. These double steps fold up so easily. Uh, all of that is simple, easy construction that you would expect. What you might not know is this has torsion axles on it, 10 inch brakes, and it's all standard. All right, moving forward, there is a little plug right here. Now that is gonna be for adding the electric lift, there is an electric lift available to put this roof up and down. Uh, this particular unit doesn't have that, but you will see these plugs on both sides in case that's added. Um, 
The other 110 plug-in is right here, great for patio lights, anything else you might need it for. 14 inch tires and of course the aluminum wheels. The gray exterior, good thing to mention, it is an option. The standard is white with black trim, but you can get the gray option. All right, this is the venting for the Cool Cat air conditioner that we talked about. It's 11,000 BTU, it is a heat pump, so it can actually be electric heat or air conditioning. Let's step around the back. All A-liners are gonna have a diamond plate uh, rock guard on the back and on the front of it. This dormer folds in so easily. Again, we'll show you that in just a minute. Coming around to the side. This is where all of your connections and your water heater and outside shower is. The city water fill, so if you are hooking straight to the hydrant or if you're filling the tank. This unit has 11 gallon fresh water tank, does not have a gray tank. The black tank is a cassette toilet. We'll show you that in just a minute. Six gallon water heater. Remember that switch is right on the side of the sink. It is gas water heater. DSI, of course. Uh, the outside shower has hot and cold and a little handle to turn it on and off with your thumb when you're using it so you don't waste any water. The 30 amp shore cord plugs in right here on the side and the furnace outlet is right next to that. Let's look underneath. This two inch outlet is for the gray water. So gray water drains right here on the side. There is not a tank for that gray water. However, very easily you can use a tote tank. Uh, we have a 15 gallon tote tank that a lot of people like to use with this unit. Works great. When it's full, you can just tow it to the dump station or uh, any place that you feel safe dumping gray water. All right. Let's look at the storage here because this is actually a little storage here on the end. You can see the refrigerator right there. That is the very end of the pull-out kitchen. But in the meantime, you've got a little storage here that you can use. And the solar plug-in is right here. Uh, this, uh, this plug is for the ZAMP portable solar panel. It looks like a little suitcase and you plug it in right here, it is gonna charge your battery. Great if you're camping somewhere where you don't have shore power and you just need to keep those batteries charged. Just plug it in right here and you've got that handled. All right, let's move around to the front. One of the options on this trailer is going to be dual propane. And this one happens to have dual propane. We don't have it set up right now, but it has a nice cover that goes over it and your battery sits right here. All right, I love the diamond plate on the front of this. You notice A-Liner also has handles, so if you need to maneuver your trailer by hand, you certainly can do that easily. Now for the best part. Let's take a look in here. This is the pull-out kitchen. Pulls right out. Pulls out six feet, has a flip-up table right here for more counter space. Nice two burner stove and a 12 volt refrigerator. It just feels like outdoor cooking is so easy when you have it just rolling out of the cabinet. The storage right here underneath the stove, great for pots and pans, great for some paper plates, anything you'd like to store in your kitchen. The base is like an ABS plastic, so it's gonna be super easy to clean, not gonna rust, not gonna have any problems with that. This of course goes right back down to give you great counter space. And your refrigerator, which can be a freezer or a refrigerator, either way. Super simple to put this tray right back down and put away your kitchen when you're done. Clip it right into place there and you're ready to travel. So easy and so much fun.
let's take a look at the cassette toilet. Now, if you're not familiar with a cassette toilet, I am a big fan because they're so easy to use. If you don't like to camp where there's always full hookups, meaning you have a hose that connects to the dump at your site, then a cassette toilet is a great alternative because all you do here is pull this cassette out, extend this handle, and roll it to a toilet or a dump station anywhere. It holds five gallons, closes itself when you pull it out, super easy to use. When you're done, put the handle back in, slide it right back in the slot, and it opens up and it's ready to use. So it really is so easy. So now let's take a look at the high wing kit. Now there's two types of high wing kits. One of them is a cable system like this one has. You can also get one that they call a lift assist high wind kit. And instead of the cable, it's gonna have an aluminum rectangle uh, bar that you can use to help push the roof up. So let's look at the cable wind kit where you take this cable, you unpin it on one side and you bring it over to the other. Now on this one, you have to unpin it Get this cable hooked up just a little bit, and then you clamp it back down. That actually keeps that cable tight, and it's adjustable, so you can make it a little tighter than it is now, but that keeps the roof pulled together if the wind catches it just right and does a little tugging on it. So it's just a, a precaution that they put in place. Uh, it works great and uh, available on any A-liner. All right, so I think we're to the good part. Let's show you how this A-liner goes up and down. Okay, let's get the inside ready to fold down. And the first thing is I make sure all the cushions are below the hinge. So I fold these down. I'm gonna fold this sofa one down and just for good measure, I'm gonna fold down the backs of these seat cushions. All right. Everything is folded down and below the hinge. Over here, on the dormers, you just fold in the triangle edges first. Very simple to do. And then you give this a pull. And it folds in. See how simple that was? Let's do the other side. Fold down the corners. bring it down. There you go. Next thing I like to do is I like to go to the back of the trailer and undo the actual clamps that are holding the sidewalls on. Let's do that. Now that's the best way to do it because once the walls start folding in, it's really hard to get to the back. All right. Undo the wall, fold it in. These are not very heavy, so it's pretty easy for me to do. Undo this, and then you have to split the door. Hold this, fold this in, and put the, walls, the door down. Now we have left the lights on so you could see what we were doing a little better, but I always recommend you turn the lights out as well when you're folding it down. Now let's fold the roof down. There you go. Very simple. Now, to be fair, I'm five feet tall. It is a bit tough for me to get this thing closed. Very difficult for me to get it open. But with someone else, even five foot tall with me, two of us can set this up, no problem.
I hope that's helpful for you. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. I'm here in Round Rock, Texas, and we've gotten to take a look at the new family trailer from A-Liner. So please subscribe if you want to see more walkthroughs, call us with any questions, and comment below. We love to hear from you. I hope we get to see you soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.